Hey guys, thank you so much for watching Energy and Martial Arts. My name is Tim. Unique is going to assist me today showing you some takedowns called the leg trips. We're going to look at outside leg trip and we're going to look at some inside leg trip variations. Very nice technique if your opponent is like Unique, super big and strong. It's a very nice technique to take your opponent down, get into a top position, start working from there. Oos. Okay, so leg trips. Guys, I love doing this takedown, especially against larger or bigger opponents where I don't want to lift them or use a double leg. So let's get to it. First off, I want to get close. I don't want to shoot my knee to the mat immediately because that's when my head will be too low. I'm going to get guillotined or sprawled on for sure. So I want to get close, toe to toe. Then I want to go to my front knee, going down and switching my leg, getting my heel, catching her heel. So don't use this space because she will just leg pommel step out. So I want to really feel the heel. Now this hand is very important guys. I want to control her hip. Later on this is going to be my underhook. If I don't control this hip and if I go for the leg for instance, she will just take my back. Boom. I have a big problem. So focus on getting this hip. I'm going to show you later from a different angle. So I'm going to get close. I'm going to shoot very low, catch the heel and immediately I'm going to trip her and put pressure with my head to the left. I'm going to steer, boom, step and do the takedown. Ending up in side control. So once again, low, I'm gonna get close, boom, I'm gonna shoot, block the hip, trip, step out, and steer to the left. So before we continue, let's look at the other side. So watch this hand, I'm gonna get close, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna block this hip, and my head is going to steer all the way, pushing into her armpit. I'm gonna trip down, boom, step out, I'm gonna push my head and my hip to her shoulder and her hip, making her carrying my weight, going to side control. So, worst case scenario, I don't control the underhook, she goes to my back. Second, or uh, another bad scenario, is when I end up and get into half guard. So this might happen a lot. I go down, boom, and as we trip, she just closes her legs, boom, and we end up in half guard. Which doesn't matter, I still score the takedown, I still have top position, and now I get to pass and work for. So, if you end up and you want to go out, don't only control this hand and lean on your right knee. As soon as we hit the floor, I want to steer with my left hack. If I manage to step out, I want to get my left hip to her left hip and steer to this side, pushing with my head, allowing, not allowing her to regain any control over my body. So, last time. Uh, different angle. So, we're going to get close, going to shoot, trip, Fall down, step, control, and get to side control. Oops. Now guys, so we need some distance in order to do this takedown. Uh, and we need to get low. So if we end up in more of a uh, scramble situation or this scenario, it's pretty hard to do the first one. So we're gonna do a second one where I'm gonna use an arm drag. Let's look at it from this angle. So I'm gonna control her wrist. I'm gonna make a normal arm drag. As I step in, I'm gonna make the same motion with my legs. My left knee is still going to the mat and my right leg is still going to make the trip, but this time it's going to be an inside trip on her rear leg. So I'm going to make the arm drag, get close, go to the knee, block the hip, trip, and go down to half guard. So one more time. Arm drag, go down, trip, catch, and get top position. So a beautiful way to train this, guys, by yourself, you might have seen this in class or done this in class. I'm gonna get a nice posture, front knee to the mat, step and go. Later on, we can steer with the head, boom. Cut corners, boom. Just like we did with the double leg, with the low double leg, and this time with the leg trips. Oops. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope we helped a bit explaining some nice details from the technique or the video we showed today. Let us know in the comments if you have any suggestions whatsoever, something you want to see in the future. Uh, discuss one of the techniques, uh, some of your variations. We're super excited if you share your thoughts with us. Now please guys, remember to subscribe to the channel and put on notifications. We're gonna drop new videos, trying to get new videos to you every week or once, two weeks. Put on those notifications so you get an email, you get a note when there's a new video available so you can start watching it, drilling it with your partners. 
Besides that, guys, we're super excited that we get to share this with you. It takes a lot of time and effort. So for that reason, we created a Patreon account. The link will be down in the description below. Anything you can miss to support the channel, support our BGJ, support grappling would be much, much appreciated. Final note, we are wearing some very nice gear uh, like this one or anything shown in the videos, black and white with colors, with nice designs. That's all of our own gear called Energy of Fightwear. If you want to support us in a different way, hook me up, send me a message, order one of the rash guards, shorts, kimonos, geese, bags, belts, patches, streetwear, anything we have to not only support the channel, support the group, but also represent, show off some nice gear on the mat. Thank you so much. See you in the next video on the mat. Oops.